Hey everyone, welcome back to Game Dev XR. I'm Jonathan. In this video, I want to show you how we can easily adjust textures, imported textures within the editor. And I don't mean the material editor, I mean the actual texture window. So, all I've got here is I've got my engine content open because I've got a, a custom asset library. If you want to see how I did this, so we can get this video to 100 likes, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. If we can get to 100 likes on this video, I'll do a video showing how to create your own custom asset library, which transfers your stuff over between projects. So getting back to this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a texture. So I'm going to go to substance that I've got. Let's find a brown oak. We can actually see this a bit easier. So when you do this, I recommend duplicating the original image. So what I've got here is I've got a Parquet Brown Oak 1024. Let's do the 2048 actually. It'll look a little bit nicer. 2048. All I'm going to do, so I need to save all, get down to normal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this texture. So you can see we've got two now. We've got the original, and we have the one we're going to customize. So opening them both up, all you need to do is go to the right hand side. And if we scroll down, you actually have this panel here called adjustments. And it's basically just changing these. So if you need to change the brightness, we'll make it a little bit brighter. We can actually move these sliders to do so. And just by changing the values, you can get some nice results. So we'll go a little bit darker, a bit too far. But let's bring that up. We'll also adjust the brightness curve. So you can see we're getting a different result there as well. From the original we got stuff like saturation control this is great to do it here rather than doing it in your shader view just as it cuts down a little bit of work and yeah you can see this just you've got quite a bit of control with it so hopefully this was good enough to help you in some areas and do some stuff and you can also just hit save on the modified texture and we'll do on the original and you can see here it's actually updated in both so we've got the original and we've got the modified. And you can also go back and change these if needed. So just reset them back to what you want or the default. But just hitting the save button works really well for that. So I hope that helped. I hope this could be useful for you and save some time in different places. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more like it, let me know down below, especially if there's anything you do want to see or find out how to do but until then stay safe oh and we've got a discord check that out links in the description and i'll see you then bye